All right, guys, today we're here with Ron Daly from SSF in Clarksville. So, Ron, you got an interesting story. You cornered Brad Morris against Kane Velasquez. It was at UFC 83. 83. Yeah. Tell us a little about that, about that experience. It was, it was great. Uh, it was the first one in Canada, and uh, GSP being the hometown boy, that was, I think they said at the time it was the biggest crowd UFC, UFC's ever had. And when they came out, that freaking stadium was rocking. You know, the auditorium, it was incredible. Never been in, you know, I've been to other UFCs and stuff, but that was. It was the best I talked so to Eagle Levine and I was telling him, you know, if, if Sarah would have won, that place would have exploded in your yeah, body. Yeah. I mean, what was your thoughts on that big fight? I mean, you've been. Man, that fight, when we walked in and I saw, you know, I was in the wings watching it, I wasn't in the seats, and I was like, holy cow, you know, it's like, I, I'm, I know Sarah, I wanted Sarah to win, but I was hoping he wouldn't, because you know? <laughs> that crowd was going to riot afterwards. What's it like? Do all the fighters kind of gather around the TVs and watch it backstage once the fights are done? Uh, there are TVs, monitors where you can watch, yeah, uh, but, um, most of the guys when that fight was happening were in the wings, you know, and where the fighters are coming out and stuff, just standing around watching the fights. And you cornered uh, Brad Morris in his debut in the UFC against Flaskis. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, how did you, how did that fight come about? Uh, Brad was fighting in uh, Australia and Jap uh, Japan, some, and he called me up and asked me if I, you know, I've known Brad for years, and he asked me if I'd start managing him. Mm -hmm. And I said sure. Uh, two days later, I, I had a contract for him with uh, Joe Silva for the UFC. And uh, I called him up and said, hey, you're fighting in the UFC, and that's, it was really easy to get in. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That's cool. What was that fight that we because he's a monster, he's a stud. I mean, yeah. what was the experience like, though, corner an actual UFC fight? Uh, it was fun, you know. It's just, we saw the videotape of Kane, and I, you know, we saw how you know, Kane was always getting side control, you know, on all fours, when the guys on the fours pounding, dropping his leg between the uh, other guy's legs. And, you know, I told Brad to work on uh, rolling knee bars. But... In Australia, apparently, there's not a whole lot of people to work with on that, so you know he didn't feel comfortable doing it. And in the fight, I kept yelling, "There it is! There it is!" And I was Mike. I'm like, "You got him where you want him, you know?" And why he's getting punched, you know? So, so I'm sure you know the UFC people are like, "That guy's an idiot." <laughs> what is he doing? So, if Brad would have gone for the knee bar, he would have had it. But I mean, as a trainer, though, they kind of like motivate you to help get your guys back to the UFC because you want to go back and do it again. Yeah, yeah, we went back to UF, UFN 15 in Omaha with Brad, and uh. I like to get like uh, some of my other guys into the UFC. But this year, you know, WEC something like that. You know, some were getting ready. You know, good enough to be there. You know, but this camp's new. It's only two years old, three years old. Now you started back in the day. You were part of uh, Ken Shamrock's line then. Is that correct? I trained there for a while with, but at the time Ken was uh, in and out all the time. It was more Frank mm -hmm. and uh, Jerry Bolander that was there with us. So you kind of saw it from the beginning, you know, it was just Yeah, explaining. yeah, it was there like 94, 95, that time period. Where do you see the sport in like 10 years? It's, it's incredible. It's going to be, a, well, baseball's gone, you know, it's going to be the new, yeah. you know. It's just a lot more action, a lot more fun, and, and anybody can do it, you know. What made you decide to like open your own gym and start doing your own thing here at Clarksville? I didn't have any place to train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just somewhere to train. Uh, I wanted, uh, it was mostly for our gear company, you know, which now the school started doing better and keeping up with the production of gear, you know, was kind of a pain because everything's made overseas. Yeah. So it came more, now it's more the gym, take, you know, travel with the fighters and stuff and kind of enjoy that more. Who are some of the guys here at SSF you think will be in the WC or uh, UFC one day? Uh, Thomas Campbell definitely, you know, will be in there. Um, uh, Stephen Durr, you know, has a shot at it. You know, there's some good guys, you know. Those two are the ones uh, I'm pushing right now, you know. They're, they've got a lot of amateur fights already, you know. They've gone as, about as far as they're going to go here locally yeah. as amateur, you know. Well, that's cool, Ron. Thanks for your time, and uh, well, thank you. see you down the road. All right, thanks.